next we'll go ahead and install this thing if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment below and uh, we'll get this thing installed so that way you guys can see how this works we'll test it we'll kind of give our review on this thing and then let you know if this is something that you may want to get yourself all right i got my screwdriver here and so first what we need to do is take these screws out of the bottom of the big antenna So we do want to keep this stuff handy and so we're going to load this and so we're going to put the lock washer which you'll know which one's a lock washer because it usually has a, has a split in it that's your lock washer so you're going to put that on on your screw first okay that on your screw first and then you grab your washer your regular washer that's your rounding bracket got your bracket on there there you go so that's that okay and so the next what we're gonna do um, is that I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put the side I'm gonna put this for just so we can temporarily mount this I'm gonna set this up on our uh, ladder on the outside just so we can temporarily mount it um, so that way we have that right where we need it okay so we'll go ahead and do that outside all right guys we're up here on the roof and so this is my ladder here I'm up on there, you can see I'm on in my shadow there. I'm up on the roof on this ladder here. And I'm gonna place this right out here on the bracket, kind of on the outside right about there. And, um, and just so I'm not kicking this thing every time I step through here on the ladder. So as you can see here, I don't, I don't want this thing kind of like right here or right here. I want it kind of swung around to the outside attached to this part right here so I'm not you know not kicking this thing every time I come up so actually I'm gonna grab my other ladder it's a little bit more safer uh, but I just want to show you where I'm playing this okay I'm up here on the um, ladder and this is where I'm gonna place my um, Wii boost I say Wii boost but you know it's funny because me and my wife are going back on which brand we should get the Wii boost are king but obviously you can see on here now but this thing is actually powered by WeBoost, which is interesting, isn't it? So first off, uh, I got all my hardware here. So first off, what you want to do is you want to put these little brackets that they have. This this part goes around the pole, and um, and then this will slide in here like that, hugging the pole. And then our, all of our nuts and bolts will go on the outside, like that. So just, I, I'm not gonna mount it on this side, but just so you can see, it's gonna be hugging like that up there. I'm just gonna swing it around so we have that. And then I'm gonna put my washers and lock nuts back in order. Um, so we're gonna put our washers in first, our regular washers. Okay, and then our lock washers. Put that on there, and then the nuts. We'll go on there next.
show you what we're going to have here. It's going to be up like this on the side. And I think I'll pro probably permanently have this right here like this. But just to kind of do a soft thing, I didn't want it. I didn't want it blowing around up here while I was trying to test it. So but this is my soft install plus my, um, what do you call it, permanent. Because I think I'm going to leave this right here. This is a good place for this. Makes sense for us on this side, I think. Um, wiring wise, I don't know how well this is going to be on this side, but we'll see. Again, this is kind of a soft install too, so this is this. It's not going to be a big deal to take this down. I didn't like mount it with like glue and sealant and all this other stuff, so that sh that shouldn't be like a big deal to take this back down. It'll just take more time. All right, so pretty much what we're gonna do now is just tighten this all down and I'm gonna have this raised up right here when we're done, okay? Okay, I'm having somewhat of a problem on this. Uh, I don't have enough threads to tighten this all the way down. See how loose this is? And I've put these nuts on this thread as far back as it'll go. This is actually just free spinning now. Um, but you can see this is still a little loose. So my brackets aren't as tight as I would like them to be, to be nice and secure. So, um, so either A, I can choose another position or B, I can maybe uh, cut some wood or something uh, to make this bracket tighter and just kind of fill the space in this and which I'll probably do. But just for the soft install, I'll go ahead and keep moving um, and then put our wire up here and then just run that and just see how well this is before I go through all that trouble. Um, because I don't really want to mount this to my roof unless I absolutely have to, which I can, but I don't want to. Um, and I, I would prefer it just be on this uh, ladder and just kind of like out of the way like this. Um, however, again, I'm, what, I'll probably, what I have to end up doing is maybe getting some wood, probably coating it with something or plastic or something and just filling in this gap so this is nice and tight. So I'll have to put in, I don't know, maybe get something that's probably like a quarter inch thick of something just to kind of make sure that this is nice and secure on, on here, okay? So just to kind of FYI, if you're gonna put this on your ladder, this ladder is probably not thick enough to secure it on here. So this is probably good for a pole mount maybe because you got plenty of thread for a pole. Uh, but this bracket uh, as is, has not, this, this um, our ladder pole is not as thick as it should be to be able to secure this without any extra uh, space save or like a spacer that you would need to put in here for the whole bracket, okay? So just keep that in mind if you're following along with us on this. All right, next thing you're gonna do is just take off the little dust cover that was on here um, and just it's like put this wire on here, just like a coaxial cable or something like that. You're just gonna just, just tighten this cable on here like that. What I've done, I've just kind of run that cable down over the top of the awning here and down you see that little cord right about there. Um, I've got that going through our window here and we're about to do a little soft test and see how this works. All right, now that we got our other end of our cable coming through our window there, we got the other end of this 25 foot cable. We're gonna take that, take our cell phone booster, the actual booster unit, just flipping the page here. Uh, we're gonna connect that to the top here where it says outside antenna. Connect that on here. Just push that on there. I'll tighten it down. I guess you could just push that on there. Come off and on. Just just test this because I've never seen a connector like this before. So just uh, you can push that on there like that. Kind of like maybe a quick connect thing that they created. I don't know. I could be the noob here. So you got that in there, and then I think all we need now is the power supply. Yep. So we got this connected. So we got this on our roof. We got our 25 foot cable connected that to the top of our unit there. So this is where we are now. So we need to connect our inside antenna and then give us our power supply. So let's do that. So we got our inside antenna here. Uh, 
So we just need this piece right here. And then we're gonna find to see this label, which I love about this thing too, with my, might I say that they have this clearly labeled so you can't screw it up. So we're just gonna put this on here. Same time, same type of connection here, just push this on here. Yeah. Push that on there. And then we got our power supply. this I mean this is pretty straightforward I think the only thing that you anybody would have to figure out is like where they want everything and so and I've got a power supply right there in the corner uh, because this would then justify that this is the furthest away from the um, the outside antenna like they want so I'm gonna so my, my antenna is back here um, and so all this other stuff in my camper would be up here where we're at in my camper all right, so that's where we're at in mind. So let me go ahead and get this plugged in. All right, we got that plugged in down there. Got a green light. Green light tells me something good is happening. Good feelings, I'm just gonna set that up like that. For right now, oh, there's no on off switch. I think this thing just stays on constantly, which is okay, I guess. All right, so I'll Green indicates your booster is functioning properly and there are no issues with installation. Okay, so that's good. And I guess it gives you some troubleshooting items if you had other colors like red or lights off or blinking or whatever. So that's good that they have that in the back. Okay, tip. Increased vertical separation between antennas typically improves isolation better than increasing horizontal separation. Okay. All right, so let's, let's give it a try and just test this to see I'm gonna see it works. I mean, functional. Let's see if it actually does what it says it does. Wait, but what we did have to do is register it, and what we saw on the site was that you have to actually um, register um, your device uh, through your provider's website. And then after you do that, then you have to uh, wait about an hour for it to um, for them to consent and activate your your uh, device. So we're just waiting on that for right now. All right, guys, so uh, our Winnebago 2020 um, has this pre-wired for Wi-Fi King plate that was underneath this uh, multi-unit thing here where our, where our TV is. And so I was scratching my head like, where, what does this actually mean? And so I had to do a little bit of research. My wife found this uh, document. Uh, maybe I'll put the link in the description below where to go for it. But pretty much what that means is that all they've done is run wire um, through your your, cam uh, your camper, okay. That's all they've done. They've run a coaxial wire um, from 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 here to access and through to the roof. Now, the other, my other question was, well, where the heck is the wire sticking out on top? Because on top of my roof, I've got the HD TV antenna and I've got the radio antenna. So where the heck is the other end of this wire on the roof? And so what we did some more research on that same document um, that we read is that the cable is actually, and I'll show you here in a little bit because I'll have to do this, the other end of this cable is underneath the HDTV antenna. That's where it's tucked away at. So you'll have to take off the HDTV antenna, pull the other, uh, pull this cable out on the other end on the roof, and then attach the um, your Wi-Fi booster signal, if you've got a Wi-Fi booster or whatever, um, antenna of some sort, um, to the roof. And, and so that's where the other end of this cable is. So that's all this means is that it's pre-wired, so your wires already ran through your uh, your camper, so you don't have to do that. You don't have to pull cables through your camper. So they've done that. So that's all that really means is that they ran a coaxial cable through your your uh, camper. All right. So this is the uh, coaxial cable that's pre-wired. Um, you could see um, if you have the cell phone booster uh, device, the actual booster has a you know it's set up for a quick connect on here uh, for the outside antenna. So what I did, I just um, unscrewed this little quick connect adapter that came with the original um, cell phone booster signal. You can just, and it's threaded, so you could just attach that to here. So that way you can still use your uh, quick connect and connect it to your um, cellular, your signal cellular booster here. So that's, that's all I did just to make sure that you know that you'll still have to use the adapter because that coaxial cable will not attach to this without the quick connect okay so just just a quick thing okay so talking back with the uh, King Connect folks 
that the cable that that's routed earlier that I showed you that's inside that this is pre-wired for Wi-Fi that the other end of the coaxial cable is tucked underneath this thing so I'm gonna have to break the seal of this and take this whole thing off break all this goop seal this roof seal which I have more make sure you get some of that for yourself if you're gonna do this this way and um, and so maybe I can just unscrew it right here and maybe that it's underneath this um, but because there's screws all the way around hopefully I don't have to take off the whole sealant um, and so maybe that I'll be lucked out on that so I'll take a look here in just a minute on that I just wanted to show you this is the HD TV antenna where if you have it pre-wired that that's gonna be where it is under this unit right here uh, which is your HD TV antenna tucked away under there's what they say so I'm gonna pull that out and see what we got and uh, maybe there's a port that maybe I can see this little hole right here maybe the cable can come out of here and that way if this all stays uh, cleared and I, don't, I hope that's the case I, I really do hope that that was they were smart enough to say hey we're gonna tuck the coaxial cable under here so that way I can mount see that's where my antenna is now where it's living remember I put it on that ladder but right now if that ladder is too skinny to hold that bracket snug and I would have had to have made some type of spacer to make it work there but now that we found out what we found out I'm gonna have to move that so I'm just looking at my options here what I can do um, because if anything I'll have to pull this cable out and just mount it right here mount this uh, mount that antenna bracket set up right here uh, behind this HD TV antenna so that's that's probably option a is what I'm looking at um, where all my antennas are kind of one in one place all right guys so I'm gonna see if uh, if I can just unscrew these screws and pop this off to see if my uh, if that's where the other end of my coaxial cable is versus trying to break this whole seal here. Um, and so if, if I can just pop the top off of this thing, I know I have enough sealant to at least do this. So let me just kind of break the seal here on this little deal there. Um, and do that. And then just take these screws. And this is probably will be best if I can So that's my bendable one. Um, I already got one screw out. So uh, this is going to be probably loud with the whole... I'm starting to strip, which I don't want to do that. of a nutcracker. Is this thing not twist off or something? Mm. Again, so high size 2020. Uh, there is a screw here to take this top part off. I didn't know that because I couldn't see around the other back end of it. So um, once you take this screw off, you're able to take this deal off right here. And then you're able to get the, the four uh, then you're able to take these four screws or four or five screws out more efficiently without stripping them and then this thing will come off and then you'll be able to see all your wiring but I I just learned the hard way I, I'll have to just reseal all this later but this is what you probably should have or should be looking at um, so this is your coaxial cable that comes through the roof here um, and so right now what I'm deciding trying to decide is just see this little cut out here in this plastic uh, I'm wanting to see if that was four specifically for this reason and I'm trying to think okay if I can salvage not cutting this big hole maybe drilling this out this cut out right here this somewhat cut out and then this that could probably more effectively seal this than try to seal that big old hole because this coaxial cable is not that thick and it'll fit it'll feed through there probably more effectively so I just need to probably cut this little hole out here versus that one holes here a little prefabricated cut I mean I can't punch them out but it is something looks like it's like hey drill me you know just drill a hole through me so that way I can pull this coax cable so I'm gonna get my drill bit for that what I've decided to do is uh, I'm gonna go in first 
uh, and drill this uh, first with a small hole, with a small drill bit first. And this is the uh, five set, uh, five sixty fourths size, and just drill that. And then once I get a hole in there, I'm going to start stepping it up bigger and uh, bigger and bigger. Um, just, just so I can carefully drill this three sixteenths, and then the next one, next size up would be the uh, probably the full size of that cable width, which is probably a quarter inch. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of step up, drill this. Um, you can do whatever you want. I just figured since it's plastic and I really got one shot, I really don't want to mess it up. And this is plastic. So there's my hole now in that. So I can probably go a little bit bigger, cream it out a little bit maybe. So that's what I decided to do. <laughs> now I probably have to go a little bit bigger just because now that I got my hole in there, now that I got that hole in there, um, I can probably put that cable through there now, but I might have to go a little bit bigger but let's see what I got. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go a little bit bigger on that. Should get it now. It's just snagging just a little bit. Come on through there. There we go. Alright. So, so that's how mine is gonna be. Um, I could probably seal it off pretty good with that little little bit of goop that you would roof seal this with and, I, and I'll be happy with that. That's that's gonna be watertight, water sealed, I ain't gotta worry about water getting into this and this here. So I'm just gonna reassemble this back all together now um, and then, then I'm gonna have to come back in here and just seal all this up stuff with the, uh, the sealant I'll show you that I'll, that I'll use. I don't know the top off the top of my head what that sealant's called but it's a specific brand. Alright so this is the um the uh, sealant that I was talking about specifically for RVs. Um, this is self-leveling, so you know it's it's, a, it's a really good stuff. Um, self-leveling sealant. Uh, this is in Spanish, but um, Dicor products, the roofing experts. This uh, so any type you're if you're removing any type of gunk or sealant that's like around your AC or around your um, antennas or ladders or whatever that's up on the roof that needs to be watertight sealed. This is the stuff that you need to get um, at all your RV outlets. Um, I'm not doing a brand endorsement. I'm just saying, like, um, I don't know if this is about the only brand that have, they have out there for this stuff. But, but this lap sealant is is really good. Um, I, I use it. I love it. It's, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, when I did my um, solar panels on there, I used this stuff, and this stuff is excellent. Um, making holes in your roof of your, your RVs, you're drilling something in there, which I'm gonna have to use. When I um, mount the brackets up there, I've got my screws set up, but I just, I know I'm gonna have to seal this, those screw holes up because I don't want any leakage, which would cause severe damage to your RV if you don't have it watertight sealed. So that's all I'll say about that. So make sure that you grab this type of stuff if you have enough to reseal something um, up on your RV roof. All right, there you go. All right, so this is where we are right now. But um, this is the coaxial cable that's pre-wired that was hidden under here. So if you went this far and took this off, um, and you, and you probably are kind of like where, where this is right here. Just make sure you um, reseal all this black stuff on here. It's like a putty uh, sealant that they come with that. Just restructure that. You know, you reuse all the putty that you can. If you need to get some, you can get some at a um, um, mobile home place. They sell this putty type sealant. Uh, so if you don't have enough or if you threw it out and didn't know what it was, make sure you reuse what you can. But if you threw it all out and you, or if you want to reseal it yourself, get some more. Um, you can get some at a RV repair place or a um, probably the mobile home place um, that you can get some of that roof, roof sealant uh, putty stuff, okay? Um, anyway, so there's that. Um, and then, so we're gonna reseal all this and screw this back in. And then um, the next step for me is now I'm gonna have to use this uh, lap sealant that I showed you earlier. Got my caulking gun to seal that up. Okay, so I sealed it all up. Like I said, this stuff is self-leveling. So this uh, lap seal, whatever, um, just make sure you get a good coating around. If you, if you had to do this, uh, make sure you get a good coating around your, um, your base there. Um, and just make sure that you get your screws covered up, all that, um, all the way around. Make sure your, your seal is nice and watertight again, okay? 
So I just wanted to try to show you that I did that. Um, next, you see my cable here. I'm gonna put my uh, King Connect thing right there. Okay, so I'm running through a little snap food. Um, so my single booster coaxial cable on that guy. This is the cable for it. It is a lot bigger than this guy. And totally different. So this cable will not connect to that. That cable will connect to that because that's that's what it came with, that cable. And this cable that was pre-wired is that. Um, the other end works to the booster, but this cable right here, um, I'm trying to figure out how the hell am I gonna get that to go. So my wife came up with the idea of just snaking the cable they, they gave me for this, just sneak it through the hole down there through here and just make that work. Um, this TV antenna is right above where the TV outlet thing is anyway, so it's probably just a straight shot down. Um, so that's probably why they put it right here. Um, saving space on wire and cost on wire, so that's hoping what I'm hoping. So I'm just gonna drop this cable down there in that hole that was already there. And uh, hope that that'll work. So other than that, because I even if I get an adapter for that, that cable's a lot thinner than this cable over here and so and it's not going to work so I've, I've actually have to probably do this so if you run into this problem just know although this is pre-wired all this is a coaxial cable um, you're probably going to have to make sure you got the right size wire or try to find a adapter for this to reduce it to that um, that's an option I guess I mean I even thought about trying to take this off this little quick connect thing they have here off but and maybe splicing that on there but again this cable is a coaxial cable so you really can't do that um i think it's like a braided cable um so yeah this cable is way thinner than that one all right so i'm gonna have to just feed it through so let's do that okay so this project's obviously going off road so now i'll just say this if your cable connects to your, you know, your Wi-Fi signal booster, you should be already done. However, if you are where I am, where your cable is not big enough, um, I'm sure they probably make an adapter, I'm sure of it. But what we're gonna do is just use this, um, and then what Donna, my wife, suggested, is that I'm gonna electrically tape, because we can't figure out how, the, how this is routed down through there. But what we are gonna do, is that when we route, when we pull this other cable out there, the pre-wired cable that King Connect did at the manufacturer, I'm gonna take this cable to that cable and she's just gonna pull that cable through to the where to where this is connected with it and then that way we have it all the way, all the way through and connected. So let's do that and I'll show you uh, right before I pull it through. Okay, so that's what I'm saying, I electrically taped these two ends together um, and make sure I got the right end <laughs> the right end that I do want to go down in there um, yeah I don't so let me take this end because that's the end that needs to actually go on the other end let me take these two ends together uh, and then pull it through so okay so I tape that into that end with electrical tape now I'm going to have this fed through the, this hole that we that they came with and, I'm just, and then, then my new cable will be fed through there. So that was maybe an old trick, but Donna reminded me of this old trick, so let's go ahead and do that. So. Alright, so pulling this cable through, here's the other end of it. We finally fed this through. Make it easier on yourself. Remove this panel on the inside here because this is where all the wiring and stuff like that that comes through the roof and stuff. Let me get you a better lighting on that. Um, all the wire that comes through. So this, if you got a, our TV's right there, just kind of let you know where this is. Your 
Connex multi surface thing and you, you, if you got stuff in here take that out there's a there's a panel board in here on the side it kind of blocks all this view whatever you just take the screws out of this board that's in there it's just kind of shoved in there like that okay just take the screws out of there and then you can expose all this wiring our cable make it easier for you so you, you this all the stuff's going to the roof or wherever throughout there your camper um, so yeah so that cable is now pulled through here and now underneath here where it is and so this is the what I what I tied together or taped together and so now that I've rerouted that whole coaxial cable to help my wife she's smarter than I am so well, you know. so there you go um, so now I'm just gonna put this back together and now I'll hook up our King stuff more effectively. Go back to the roof, re redo all that stuff up on the roof and get this insulation done. Okay, so I'm gonna install my uh, bracket for my um, signal boost, sorry, cellular signal, signal booster. Um, and I got some washers and some short, short screws. Uh, long enough, but short enough to where it gets, it'll bite that wood across the top of the camper, but not deep enough to where Contrary to anything else, so but sturdy enough to where it will hold that booster down. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. I'm gonna pre-drill some holes um, just so that these uh, screws go in there without any problem or stripping. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Get up on the top of the camper. All right, here we go. So much to do. So I finally got this thing all situated. Got it sealed up, screwed down. Got the wire pulled out. Right now I'm just gonna mount this. This will probably be the last. Uh, part up here on the roof and then next is just kind of reinstalling and making sure everything works and then we'll do a, a function test um, So you don't want to miss that. All right, we got these now screwed down in there with some washers So that's good. Now all I gotta do is just put that lap sealant on there and we should be good. Okay, got my lap sealant on there That's gonna level out by itself uh, Just For me personally, because you drill holes in there, I just do a seal all the way around the bracket Even though I didn't put any holes on that side, it just seals because I'm gonna think about it and just want it watertight all the way around so you have no chance for any water to get in anyway, anywhere. So that's that's why I do it all the way around. So I'll suggest you do the same. Okay, we sealed that back up with that little door there. Got all the extra cable wound up behind this little false wall. And then uh, we just uh, drilled a hole um, through here just to kind of do this little pre-wired Wi-Fi just to kind of make a nice clean uh, faceplate for our cable. So that will be for that and then we don't want to we didn't want to mount this thing because this thing's pretty heavy um, you'll see if you have one this is kind of heavy and we didn't want to mount this on here doing a lot of traveling it it bouncing and stuff like that and um, so the and plus the screws that we're gonna use you know without having to drill super big holes to put anchors and all that stuff in there we just decided just to you know give us a little bit more room on the cable and just set it down here so if we wanted to take this inside the truck we could do that um, just disconnect this thing um, so that's what we're gonna decide to do is just go ahead and leave it uh, up here just to kind of slide and then when we leave we can just transport this on the truck or something okay so I'm gonna do a speed test on our cell phone booster from King our cell phone signal booster um, so I've got it all set up and I had to get the permissions um, one thing you'll have to do is get the permissions from um, your cell phone provider that you have an extender, um, a booster, excuse me, a booster. And so um, and so that's listed in here. Before you do anything else, you have to, to set up to get the booster. So right up over here. So for more information on registering your booster with your provider. So whatever um, provider you have, you need to go to them. Um, they have little links. You just fill it out like we did and you just uh, submit it and they usually answer within a day or two to, to make sure that you're able to use your uh, that you that you've registered your cell phone booster i think it took us like i don't know 10 15 minutes and then we just it just waited a, to day i got approved and then we had to wait for a day for it to actually get the signal booster whatever uh, acclimated so anyway so we're gonna do a, a test um so right now i've got this king wi-fi off uh, there's usually a green light you'll see in a little bit um, but I just have that off and so this is without the signal booster and see what this speed test does Let's see how how strong the signal is already here 
and so it's it's already pretty fast here, I guess. Um, but you see, it's kind of dying off there, so it probably waves a lot. Um, 56 megabytes per second. That's not bad. That's a good download speed. As you can see up here, this one measures upload. Now it's measuring the upload speeds, and before it just measured the download speed. So, um, so it's actually doing pretty. I mean, we're probably in a good signal area right now, but we're gonna see how strong it is afterwards. Okay, so that's done. So let's now do it um, with it plugged in. So now I'm gonna plug in. And that's the other thing too I wish they would have done is to have some type of um, on off switch with this thing and some type of, okay, so now this is on. I have this down here. I know earlier we had this set up there, but because um, the distances we had to have between our antenna, we have our antenna up there. And then we, uh, the, second, the one on the roof is that's on the roof, but. It just, it, this was the best way to where that wasn't throwing us any errors. So we're going to test this again now. And, uh, and see how well it does now. The signal booster on. So it seems like it's stronger and it's more steady. You remember the, the first time it just, it just dipped down and to see this one looks like it just gets a steady stream. And then our, let's see, our upload speeds. Um, looks pretty good too. I mean, it's not bad. So let's see, let's do a comparison. Uh, results. So those are the last two that we just did. So, from 56 that and and then let's just do another one I would say and we'll just see how consistent that is but it's still on okay jumps right up there and stays at a high 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 boost so it's doing a lot better I mean it's keeping that steady thing so our and here's our here's our upload again so weird it down it dips down and then does that so I mean if you're gonna do like hotspot or something this, this might be not the strongest and so anyway so there you go just wanted to show you that real quick and again we can do the comparison up here on this particular app now you can get any app you want to, to do a speed test just go just you know on your app store just do like a um, search for speed test and so that's pretty consistent um, if you look at the last top three, you know, uh, I've been doing tests obviously on these in different areas. And so we're up here in New York right now near Niagara Falls. And so we're probably pretty close to a good cell phone tower, but still you can see the difference um, with it off and off. So I'll do another one with it off. So let's, let's do this off again. <clears throat> let's get it some time to, to acclimate. <clears throat> And let's do it one more time before my cell phone dies. <laughs> All right, get a little bit of time. Still Buffalo, New York. So, okay, this is with it off. See, it's still grabbing it. And it's still strong. We'll probably do a second one right after this, just to be fair. Since we did two on with it on, and we'll do two off. And see that the upload speed seems to be faster with it off. That's kind of interesting, huh? <clears throat> okay, so to be fair, we'll just test it again. Let it do it back to back. So here we go. 80, 80, 40, 82. And that kind of tops off right about there. Which the other one got us a hundred or more, which is good. And this is climbing. <clears throat> and so our upload, oh, our upload speeds are kind of wavering, but it just jumps right back up. That's so weird. Very strange. Hmm. It's almost seems like if you wanted to do some uploading, you want to turn it off. If you want to do some downloading, you turn it on. 
don't know, that's just my two cents. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped you in your decision in getting a cell phone booster. <clears throat> Again, this is the one we got. This is the King Extend Pro. These are the three elements. This is on our roof, my cell phone booster down there, and then this is the indoor signal. Um, this is just an app that I got. I think this is called um, Speed Test is the actual app. And so, yeah, it's just called Speed Test. Anyway, so hopefully that helps. Hit the like, subscribe, and to this channel and see you on the next one.